Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on Easy Subly. I've done like two videos already, but I've done them only with my Cameo, with my Silhouette Cameo 4, but I've gotten a lot of questions about can you do it with the Cricut. So of course I have a Cricut Maker 3 now, so you know I'm going to show you how to use it, do the print and cut method, do all of that. I'm going to make something fabulous using my Cricut Maker 3 and the Easy Subly. Today's video is sponsored by Caesar North America. They sent me some more Easy Subly products. I'm not sure what's all in here, so we're going to unbox this and we're going to make something awesome. So now the last time I used the Easy Subly product, I made a Mickey Mouse Gucci shirt, my most watched video on my whole entire channel with my son, and I made him this awesome shirt with the Easy Subly product. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make to try to top that today. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. So we're gonna unbox this and... Um, did you say Easy Subly? Yes, I said Easy Subly. Well, you know, I need some new outfits, and oh, since, no, 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 since you are even about to make one, I say make it for me. Make it for your beloved son. What? My beloved son. Okay, so. Hmm. Change your plans. I get the new outfit, and you guys get to watch and enjoy. Are you going to help? Sure, yes. You're going to help. All right, so, of course, how can I say no to this face? <laughs> easy, right? Okay, easy like easy subly, I can uh -huh. say. It. All right, so we're going to unbox this, and we're going to make something awesome for him. Uh, what would you like? Hmm, maybe a tracksuit? A tracksuit? You think I just got tracksuits laying around here? <laughs> I'm gonna go find a track suit for this kid and I'm gonna try to figure out something awesome and I'm gonna show you how to make a full outfit using Easy Subly. Let's do this, kid. Mm -hmm. Before we start this video, because y'all know this video is gonna be lit, mm -hmm. what do we wanna tell them? We want to tell you guys to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you do, a free Lamborghini will be sent to your house. All right, no. Well. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so that way you don't miss any of our future videos. And we'll be right back after the intro. Let's go. Yeah, let's get to it. Place it in my garage. Put your muscles in there, okay? Then. Okay, so let's see what Caesar sent us. Okay, so I have the package open. This is what they sent me. Um, Caesar sent me the Easy Subly in the 8.4 by 11 with the mask. So this is the Caesar Easy Subly HTV sheets with the mask in that size. Mm -hmm. We have the larger size, of course, the 11 by 16, of course, with the mask as well to transfer it. You said mask? Yes, mask. Like face mask? <laughs> transfer mask. Oh. And then they also sent me, okay, I can't wait to try this, but I'll do this in a separate video. They sent me the, um, the holographic HTV and the Moonlight Pearl. Oh my goodness, this is like really nice. So yeah, I know I'm gonna bring y'all a video using this as well. So this all, so these are all Caesar products, but today we're specifically going to be using the what? Easy Subly. Easy Subly. Okay, now let's get an outfit. Tracksuit. You like? So we're gonna use this tracksuit and we're gonna make 
and outfit for Katie. So last time I did Easy Subly on cotton. So if you didn't know, Easy Subly is something that you can use to supplement with and you can put it on 100% cotton fabrics, you can put it on 100% polyester, and you can put it on cotton poly blends. So last time I used it on 100% cotton, but this time I am going to be using it on this is 100% polyester. polyester. So we're gonna use it on 100% polyester. So now, because this is 100% polyester, normally that's the perfect material to supplement directly onto. But because this is red and black, we now have the option and we can use Easy Subly. So this is the perfect garment to use it on. So again, you can use Easy Subly on 100% cotton, you can use it on 100% polyester, like dark polyester like this, or cotton poly blends. Let's get into this video because I'm excited. So now I found this cute graphic. Kaden wanted something cool because he just thinks he's a cool kid. So, <laughs> so we came up with this nice little graphic that we're gonna do. We're gonna put something on the pants. We're gonna put something on the jacket. We're gonna put something on the sleeve. I'm gonna like really trick this out for him and make it really nice so he can be fly because he is about to go to middle school. Hopefully he doesn't outgrow this outfit before he starts middle school. Yes. But um, Halloween. we're gonna make it really nice. So I'm gonna make him a full custom tracksuit using the Easy Subly. I'm gonna jump on over into Cricut Design Space and show you how you print and cut the Easy Subly. Let's go. Yes, hallelujah. Okay, so I'm gonna put something right here in the pocket, like a small pocket logo. And of course I need to measure it to see how big it's going to be. No more than four inches wide for right here. And I will say no more than about five inches long because the design I have is, you know, not really that small. So gotta make it work. So like about a four by five. And for the sleeve, of course, I can make this as long as I want, pretty much, but I will say no more than 11 inches long for the sleeve. And no more than about, I normally do like no more than two inches wide because I don't really want it too big, too fat, too chunky. So about a 10 by two or 11 by two, depending upon, depends on how many words you have in your sleeve. And the pocket, we're going to do four by five or so. Um, so the pants pocket, this is the back. So the pants leg, I will put, the jacket is going to be on that side. Over here as well on the left-hand side. So the pants leg, I'll probably make it the exact same size, four. Okay, four. I don't want to put too much on it. You know, you don't want it to be too crazy, but I want it to be fly. I got the tracksuit right off of Amazon. If anyone wants to know, I needed to find a black tracksuit really quick. So I got this off of Amazon. All right. I'm going to use a regular standard cutting mat. Let's open up the easy subly. So again, we're going to be using the 8.4 by 11 size. One side of your Easy Subly is a shiny side. The other side is like a matte side. All right, so we're going to put this in the printer and then we're going to come back and place it here to cut. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Epson 7710 because it just gives me great coloring. And I do have the sawgrass underneath, but I'm going to use the Epson 7710 today because so many people ask, can you use another printer other than sawgrass? And you can. Okay, so this is the Easy Subly. Again, one side is shiny, one side is matte, a matte finish. That's the side that you want the ink to go on. So depending upon how your printer prints out, that will determine how you put it in. Mine puts in this way and rotates. So I'm putting mine shiny side up. I'm using premium matte finish. Eight and a half by 11 paper setting. Okay, so I'm opening up Cricut Design Space. And I'm just going to create a new project. Now I'm just gonna upload the image that we're gonna use for today. I'm gonna click upload 
You can drag and drop it or you can click browse. This is the image I'm going to use, Dab and Lip Bear. Moderately complex. I'm just going to choose that one. Now open it. And because this is going to be a print then cut, I'm going to um, click print then cut. And I'm going to upload. Okay, so my image is now uploaded. Now I'm going to add it to my canvas. Okay, so now here is my image. I already removed the background and everything, so now this is ready to go just like this. I'm going to add some text to this. I'm going to put it down here. And I'm just going to put Cool Kid. So I played with my fonts until I found something that I liked. Once I got the font that I liked, then I added an offset behind it so that way it can be black. I changed the color. I duplicated it because I was going to make more than one image to cut out. And then I attached it all so that it would stay in place on the cutting mat. So all I did again, found the font. I added the offset. I duplicated it and I attached it all. Now I'm going to click continue. Send to printer. I'm going to make sure I choose the correct printer. Send it to my Epson and I'm going to print. Okay, it's printing out. Okay, so here's the first image. I do have to go back and make the other images smaller because they're a little bit too big for the pocket logo. And I don't know why I made it so big. I am going to now make sure the ink is dry. It feels dry, it's in there, but I wanna make sure because when I put it through the Cameo, keep saying Cameo because I'm used to my Cameo. When I put it through the Cricut, I don't want the ink to smear. If the ink smears, then you know it's not dry. So you would press this just like you would regular Caesar Easy Weed vinyl. So my, my heat press is set to 315 degrees. So I'm just going to let it hover under the heat press for about two to three minutes. I've only done it two to three minutes. You don't want to do it too long and you don't want your heat press too hot. If it's too hot because you apply this um, again with heat, it will stick to the backing and it won't peel apart. So you definitely don't want to have it too hot or you don't want to um, hover over it too long. It's not heated up all the way, but you see I'm leaving that gap. So I'm definitely not putting it all the way down. That was only 15 seconds. I need to let my heat press um, finish heating up all the way. I'm just going to take my time up to 60 seconds so it won't beep and I have to lift it up. Okay, so I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let it hover over for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna rotate it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna rotate that and press it, not press it, and just hover over it again for another 60 seconds. Ooh, making sure I'm leaving enough space. I almost closed it. Okay, here we go. Okay, that should be good and dry. Let's go ahead and cut this one out. Uh, so my settings for cutting is just um, set to vinyl and on default. Again, I'm not mirroring this at all. So you wanna make sure you put it in the same direction that it's facing on the computer. I'm gonna slide this in and now I'm just gonna slide it up. The Cricut is now going to scan it. Come on in, baby. Kaden, go ahead and click play. Yes. Click play. All right, watch it go up. So we're gonna watch it cut for the very first time using a Cricut. And let's see if it cuts out perfectly. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take that out. So now I'm gonna make sure this cut perfectly. So I'm gonna pull it up and I'm going to weed it. 
Let's see. So once I pull this away, there we go. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just what I wanted. And it weeds so easy, so easy. Now let's weed out the middle parts. No bleeding, no running. All I did was dry it for two minutes. I'm gonna set this aside and do the other ones and I'm gonna have Kaden do the rest. Now that I have the settings perfect. That's how you print and cut the easy subly. Okay, so now I need to make this smaller. Smaller. I'll make it four and a half. I'm gonna make it four and a half. I'm gonna click duplicate. Now I have four smaller ones. I'm gonna click make it. And let's see if I can get it on one page. Ah, I got it on one page. I got it on one page. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna send this to print. So here's all the teddy bears coming out. Oh, cool. Look at my lit bear. <laughs> you like it? Yep. All right. Those are your bears coming out. All right, take it, Kaden. All right, hold on. Don't touch the ink, all right? Wait, don't touch the ink. Touch the side. All right, you don't want it to smear. All right, put it under the heat press. Lay it down on the heat press. Be careful, be careful. Just lower the handle. We're gonna lower the handle just like this, Kaden, but we're not gonna close it. I got a little, my heat press needs some oil. So we're gonna let it hover for 60 seconds. Again, so we want that ink to dry so we can cut it. Well, I right. think you did a nice job. On the play? Hmm? Yeah, that too. But I'm okay. trying to do all now. Okay. All right, so rotate it. Let's just rotate it because we want to make sure we get get it um heated on both sides. Since of course this is a clamshell style. Pressing for another 60 seconds and Kaden is dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm a work dancer. I'm a work dancer. <laughs> You're a work dancer? I'm a work dancer. You can't even dance. <laughs> so silly. Okay. Are you excited for your tracksuit? Uh huh. And I'll try it on for y'all and y'all gonna like it. How much are you gonna pay me for this suit? How much are you gonna pay me for this suit? Oh, wait, let me go get my cash. Crazy kid. Okay, I got it. Nothing? Yeah. I'm gonna knock <laughs> you out. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take it on over to the cutting mm -hmm. machine. Mm -hmm. All right, so Kaden, put it in the top corner mm -hmm. on the mat. Don't touch the ink. So you gotta uh -oh. be very careful. We're gonna put it down right here, line up with the lines. Just like that. Run it up with the lines. All right, so I only make sure I press it down on the mat on the corners. I'm gonna slide it in just like that. And now I'm going to click, make it on the computer again. Hit start. And watch it cut out your bears. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So it's gonna cut out each of these bears? Yep, it's gonna cut out each of the bears and then we're gonna place it on your tracksuit. Yay! You're mimicking the cameo? You're mimicking the crib? You're mimicking the crib? Yes, I am. All right, 
We're gonna take it out. Okay, so we already did this one. We're gonna lay this one aside over here. I'm gonna pull this one off the mat. Are you ready, Kaden? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half so that way you can weed one and I'm gonna weed the other one, okay? Mm -hmm. So I want you to do one and I'm gonna do one. Or you to do two and I'm gonna do two. So All of these are gonna be on the shirt? No. Really? I just did extra. Why? I, because I didn't wanna waste the whole sheet. Because we can use it for someone else who wants one. Mm -hmm. Or you can put this on something else. All right, so there's yours, there's mine. Yours, mine, ours. I can do this for hours. All right, copyright. <laughs> All right, so look, no, you see how mommy's holding it? Again, hold the wheel. Hold it like you hold a pencil. Okay, hold your hand. Don't touch the, the ink. Look, my hand is, hold the paper. Take a corner. Mm -hmm. And weed up the paper. And weed up the paper. Like so, my children. Okay, and pull back easily. Now, take, now drop the weeding tool. Drop the weeding tool. Not on it. Take it off. How is these? All right, now pull back. Nice and easy. Just like easy subly. Pull yeah. back. But move your hand down. Hold this down, okay, as you're pulling back. Don't touch the... Be very careful when you get to the letters, okay? Um, Try not to touch, put your hand on the image. Just hold on the backing. Oh. Perfect. You're doing so good. Thank you. Now, dab on them. Dab on them, my children. Come on, my children. Look. Go you ahead. already did it? Yes, come on. I was going slow for you. Now we got to weed out like the O's and the, and the letters. You got it? Mm-hmm. How you doing? How you doing there? I think good. Let's take a close look at how Kaden is weeding it. Go ahead. Yes. So this is how you want to do it. You could keep going. Oh. Take your time. Like so, my babies. <laughs> like so, my babies. Everyone watching is your baby. You got yes. your hand over the whole image. I don't want you to smear the ink. Be careful. Um, all right. Just pull it from there, you go. Look at that, Kaden. Who do y'all think did it better? Oh my goodness, I think they look exactly alike, little <laughs> man. Yeah. All right. Okay, so now you just gotta weed out the little small parts. We're gonna weed out the O's in the middle because we don't want that. Oh yeah, and to the supplement. Let to me, supplement. Can I do? Can I do it? Let's see. You only got two O's left. Do the O's. That's what about it. the D? It's nothing there. It's nothing in between. Uh. And then we're going to transfer it using the mask. Okay, little man. Now it's time for the mask. So now, so the one thing about the mask is if you have separate pieces, that's when the mask comes in place. If you have one solid image, um, square, circle, rectangle, whatever, or some um, solid shape, you don't need the easy subly mask at all to transfer it because you can pick it up with your hand, place it on your, your garment, and then just press. Yes, baby. Yeah, you got ink on you a little bit. It's okay, you can wash your hands. Okay, hold up. Okay, so this is the easy subly mask. Kaden, I'm going to let you do one and I'm gonna do one, okay? Okay, how did I do it? Though? I'm gonna show you and we're gonna show you all. Okay, so we have the easy subly mask right here. Kaden, I'm going to just pick it up. I'm going to separate it because the mask has a backing as well. So I'm going to separate it. Okay, I'm going to separate it. And you can only use this one time. Okay, you're only using this one time. Kaden, you're going to take this. Hold on to this just like that. Don't hold on to it just like this. Don't do anything yet. Let me do mine. Don't put it on your face at the, all. The chronic vibrations. I can feel the chronic vibrations. I don't know what face. you're talking about. What chronic vibration? Um. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to separate mine. You want to peel it from the backing, from the carrier sheet. Here we go. Kaden, hold it just like this. Sticky side down. And you're going to bend it. No, no, no. Bend it up towards you. 
so that way you get a point in the, you get a center. All right, hold it over your image. Be very careful, Kaden, because you're getting ready to stick it down, okay? Mm -hmm. You're gonna hold it over the image and make sure it's aligned straight. Uh -huh. Got it? And just mash it down, go put it down. Is this good? Yep, put it right down over it. Now you're gonna take this and then you can just scrape. You're gonna do this just like you would any transfer, okay? Some people says it doesn't stick. I've never had any problems with it. Now yours is smaller than your tape. I'm gonna turn it over. So as you see, it's stuck onto it. The Easy Subly HTV is now stuck onto the mask, all right? And now it's stuck onto that. So now what you wanna do is you want to peel it up. All right, here we go. You wanna peel it up, be very careful. You want to peel at a low angle, okay? Look at me, hold the paper down, and you want to peel back nice and slow, okay? Make sure everything stays down. Okay. Good job. Okay. Up. All right, so you got to peel low. If it comes up, you just rub it back down. Just go like that, okay, Kaden? Mm -hmm. It's quite all right. You just want to make sure it's stuck down. You see that? If it comes up, you just rub it right back down in place. And now that's ready to be pressed as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is pre-press the outfit. Take all the moisture out. And I'm gonna put it on the left side. Again, the heat press is set to 315 degrees. You want, you want medium, even pressure, pre-pressing for only three seconds. Pre-pressing only for three seconds. This is the first image. So I'm gonna use my little logo, logo grid it, and I'm going to just make sure that it's lined up straight. This is the image and I'm going to place it I want to make sure it's nice and straight so this helps me to align my stuff so now because there's no pocket I'm just using the crease sort of I don't want it too low on him that should be good that should be good I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm just gonna hold it up to me first. Okay, I'm gonna go. I already have a Teflon cover on my top. You don't technically need anything to cover it because it's going to carry onto this. It's going to transfer onto this, but if you want, you can add butcher paper on top. I'm not going to because I've used it so many times and it doesn't come off of the carrier sheet. So I'm pressing at 315 degrees for 15 seconds medium pressure but i'm going to slide this all the way up so that way it's flat because that's really bulky at the top so i'm pushing that all the way up so that way this lays as flat as possible look how vibrant it looks now and i haven't even peeled it off yet it says warm peel so we're gonna peel it, let it give just a few seconds and then we're gonna peel it, just airing it out just a little bit because normally I peel it hot, but I'm just gonna give it just two, three seconds to chill down and here we go. Boom. Look at that and as you see, everything is on the carrier sheet. You don't need a butcher paper. Nothing is on my heat press platen. That is so vibrant. And that's on there. Supplementation using Easy Subly HTV on 100% polyester dark garment. Boom. Dab on them. Dab on them. Okay, so let's do the jacket. We're going to do right here the pocket. And I'm going to put a pressing pillow underneath it. 
I'm just gonna put a heat pressing pillow underneath. I'm gonna press it and take the moisture out. Okay, I have my heat pressing pillow. I'm gonna do the jacket now. I'm gonna press it and take the moisture out. Two to three seconds. Okay. Two to three seconds. I'm gonna now place the second one up there, but I need to make sure I have it straight first so where I'm gonna place it. I don't want it too high, don't want it too low. I'm gonna use the same grid again to make sure that it's you know, as straight as I can get it. I'm using the seam in the jacket. That looks good. I'm gonna rock with that. I'm gonna rock with that right there. And I'm going to now put this underneath just because I wanna make sure I get even pressure all around. All right, here we go. Kinda tight with the pillow. I don't want it to pop up, so that's why I was holding it down. Okay. There we go, look at that. Okay, those colors look really nice. I was worried about the red on the red, but of course, it still stands out, still pops. Just letting it cool down for just a few seconds, and we're gonna do a peel. I wanted to surprise my son, so he's out of the room. There we go. That looks so nice. Love that. I smeared the D just a little bit down there, but that's okay, this is for my son. Okay, so the last section I'm gonna do is the sleeve. I'm gonna see how it looks with the name on the sleeve. I should have did his name. I'm gonna press this, pre-press that. Two to three seconds. Oh. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have did his name, but I'm just gonna go with it and we're gonna do cool kids. I'm just eyeing it tonight because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I do have this insert as well. And I'm just gonna stick that down in the middle of the sleeve to make sure I get even pressure. You want even pressure with the easy subly. Okay, that's perfect. Slide that in just like that. And we're gonna press again, 15 seconds on the clock. Gonna let that cool down. And I'm gonna surprise him and put one other addition on this that I think will look fly. I'm gonna peel this up now. And as you can see, sublimation coming off onto the carrier sheet. I'll give everything one final press for five seconds. All right, final press, five seconds. And that's how the sleeve looks. So I'm gonna put something on the back as well. So I'm just going to measure about how big I want the back. And I'm just gonna do the back about eight inches. And I hope you guys love it because I sure do and I hope my son loves it as well Again, this was a 100% polyester tracksuit. You got to see it on two different colors So this works well on all colors doesn't matter what it is again You can use it on 100% cotton 100% polyester and cotton poly blends This is perfect when you don't have a light polyester shirt to supplement This easy subly is so perfect for supplementing It's you know you put it on the HTV and you press it just like you would any regular HTV, but it feels in my opinion 
better than vinyl and it lasts longer because the original shirt that i made for my son the um the gucci shirt using the same product it has been washed so many times so many times so go back and check that video out if you want to see me use it on 100 percent cotton but i'm about to call my son in here and i'm going to show him and i have a final touch um that i added to the track shoot that he has not seen yet so let's see his reaction and let's see what he thinks okay here we go kaden yes come on in and take a look at your track suits all right you ready yes Wait, don't let me see it yet. You ready? Yes. All right, take a look. All right, in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, Kaden. Everyone close your ears. <laughs> He's so extra. Do you like it? Yeah. It says cool kid and then cool kid with the bear. What is the bear? The dad. Hey, let's do it. Hey. 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 It's lit, and that's what it says on the shirt. All right, but look at the pants. Ooh, got the same thing. That's nice. That's nice. And I like the material, too. Yeah. And it look good in general, too. All right, so you got to try it on. I hope it fits. This boy is so tall. But you want to see something else? All right. Something else. I started to put your name on it. I didn't think about it until afterwards. I said, oh, I should have put his name on it like I did his Roblox hoodie. But um, we got the cool kids. But I always called you what when you was, my, when you was born? What were you? Kayla? Boy? Prince? <laughs> he always forgets everything. Okay, so I always used to call him my little prince, and he always thinks he's the king of the house. So we made you your initial K. Ooh, all right. This is kind of fancy. This is fancy. I like this now. With the crown. Mm, I like this. I'm going to be wearing this a lot. All right, so go try it on. So as you see, I got the crown up there with the K, his initial because he just thinks he's royalty. Go try this on and come back, okay? All right. Gladly. I'll take that. And come back and model for them. Yes. So just so you know, you can purchase the Easy Subly in packs of 50. You can purchase it in packs of 100. You can purchase it in large rolls, or you can purchase them by the sheet. Or you can purchase them in bundles of like um, 10 packs for the 10 pack of the mask and the 10 pack of the HTV. So I always purchase mine in the bundles of 50. You can get them from Heat Transfer Warehouse or Heat Press Nation, or you can get it from Amazon as well. I'll have all the links down below. They sell out fast it sells out fast a lot of the times so check the links and you can you can check any of those suppliers that's where i always buy mine from and you can get you some easy subly htv and the mask now remember you only need the mask if you have separate pieces or really small intricate pieces but if you have one whole piece you can peel it up and pick it and apply it by hand no mask needed but if you have multiple pieces and you want to keep it in um the actual design in the actual shape in your actual you know arrangement then you definitely need to apply the mask to transfer it but all my links will be down below in the description box thank you to caesar north america for supplying today's product so that way we can make an awesome tracksuit and now we're just waiting for him to change and see how he looks. Da, 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 da. It's Kaden coming in the house with a big, great, amazing new look. Da, 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 da. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Look at you. Here it is. Boom. Dab on him, Kaden. Dab on him. Hey! And you know what I make sure to wear too? Oh, he got his little bear slippers on. Show him your little bear slippers. Hold your foot up. He got his little bear slippers on. All right, turn around. Turn around. We got to see the back. We got to see that back. Yeah, you got to see the back, everyone. Oh, that looks so cool. Put mm -hmm. your hands in your pocket and pose. Royalty. Royalty. You like it? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Royalty. What? Royalty. Oh. Oh. Hey, are you singing on camera, Kaden? <laughs> All right, so he loves it. I love the pocket. All right, let's go walk the catwalk and let's go see the full let's outfit. Let's go walk the runway, everyone. Here comes Kaden. Coming down the runway in his lit, cool, kid 
track suit. Uh oh, come on, come on, pose for him. Oh, oh, hey, skinny tall self. Boom, there we go, there we go. All right, so we're about to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope this tutorial helped you out. That's how you print and cut on the Cricut with Easy Subly. I did it twice already on my Cameo. So you can go back and take a look at those videos if you have a Cameo machine. But today's video was specifically for the Cricut. Kaden, thank you so much for being my model. You're welcome. Are you gonna wear this to school tomorrow? Wait, your mouth is all wet. <laughs> Right. Are you gonna wear this to school tomorrow? Mm, nah, I'm not gonna wear it around them crazy kids because they're they, they, too dirty and they're gonna trigger my anger issues. What? <laughs> so, when are you gonna wear it? You have to wear it somewhere, don't you? Well, I wear it, it like I'll, I'll wear it like on a plane, I'll wear it places. But you don't want to wear it to school. And there you have it. Anyway, okay, time for bed. Take it off. Bedtime. Mm -hmm. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Boom.